Hello guys, my name is Yvonne Mwale. Originally I come from Zambia. I'm a Zambian citizen. I'm an artist, singer, songwriter. Of course I don't get to do these kind of videos that much. And uh, the reason why I'm doing this video is because I want to express my feelings and I just want to let my Zambian people know how disappointed I am today. Especially this message goes to all my fellow musicians there, my Zambian musicians, you know, they're like my brothers, my sisters. I looked up to you guys, you know, I have nothing to smile about today or to celebrate about today. You know, looking at the situation back home, we have a lot going on right now. You know, economically, things are not really okay right now. Can't you see? And why are you pretending as if everything is okay? And what is even there for you to start celebrating, singing about campaign, you know, politics and so forth and so on? Don't get me wrong. I don't belong to any political party. Okay? But I have a voice so I could speak because I have families there as well. Zambia, we're suffering. We're going through so much pain right now. But how would you take bribes? You guys, where is your dignity, your respect? If you can't respect yourselves, then why can't you respect your children, the future of your children? You know, just taking bribes and looking like fools wearing fun, fancy, fake jewelries and diamonds, you know, fake lives full of makeup on your faces, trying to call, you know, trying to look divas and queens and kings, whatever you may call yourselves. You're calling yourself celebrities, you know, when you can't even hold a microphone. And on top of that, you still want to get a Grammy. How can you get a Grammy award, really, when you can't even really think about yourselves like that? You don't have the dignity, you know, you can't respect other people. But you are just able to take bribes. And today, you know what? You've proven yourselves to be so hungry. And that means, you know, what we've been hearing rumors. You know, people are talking. People are talking bad about our country, you know. How are we even representing? People are saying Zambian musicians are hungry. Hungry, hungry. And yes, we have proven ourselves to be so hungry. And that's what you've done, you Zambians. You should be ashamed of yourselves. You know, people that should be looking up to you, you know, like... You are the heroes. You have the voices. You have the voices. You know, God gave you gifts to use that, you know, for preaching the love and bringing people together, singing about unity. Tell the truth, but do it in a positive way. Stop hating other people. You know, don't just be selfish and take that money taking bribes because you feel like you want to have luxury lives. What about those people who are living in the villages? You know, what about those children who can't afford to go to school? Look at their classes. They can't sit. They, they, they don't have, you know, any proper seats, you know, desk anywhere. They, they have nothing, 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 nothing good. But only you can see just pathos on the floor, you know. No roof, nothing. Not even, they can't even drink decent water, clean, fresh water, nothing. Hospitals, look at what we have in the hospitals. Can you name one good thing that is happening in Zambia right now? And you are there busy singing, singing this this these campaign songs you know what are you even celebrating about those songs are really useless i'm even surprised that you're even dancing in, that, in those songs because those songs don't even have proper tunes that could really touch someone's heart but yeah of course you yourselves you're being touched because you're celebrating your monies your millions that you've gotten you know not long ago you were getting your monies wasn't that enough and i hope that and i pray and i hope that your your record labels or your managers they should look into this matter and I hope they don't get themselves involved because anyway, as far as I'm concerned, you know, labor shouldn't be even involved in politics, you know, and that's just the truth. I don't know, maybe there it happens, but I don't, I don't think so. You know, professionally, it shouldn't happen. But you guys, what I'm just trying to say is that you should be ashamed of yourselves. Stop this nonsense now, you know. Think about those people who are suffering out there. Think about the people who are dying. And you have guts to come up on the social media and start defending yourselves and saying like, yeah, live your life, each other, live your life, each other, your friends are dying. There are people who are dying there. A lot of people are still dying right now today. There's a third wave, COVID. You know why they're dying? Lack of machines. We don't have machines. Hospitals are not well developed, you know. And especially if you're coming from local places where you can't even afford to go to see the doctor, you know, going in, in, in expensive uh, private hospitals where you have all these, you know, machines. You die. 
And you guys, you are busy celebrating, you know. I've just lost a friend, you guys. I've just lost a friend. A few days ago, they were burying a friend. You know how she died? They couldn't, they gave her a broken ox chin. It wasn't working. She couldn't breathe. Just right there at UT UTH. And you are there celebrating Nivi life, each other. We do what we have to do to survive. Selfishly. So you would rather watch people suffer, starve to death. So that you guys can enjoy life, yeah? Do you have hearts? You should be ashamed of yourselves. You should be ashamed of yourselves and you don't have to like me after this video. Some of you, you're just forcing yourselves to be artists when you're not even artists. I don't even know what you're doing. You can't even hold the mic properly, you know? You don't even know how to sing, you know? But you're just forcing, you know, growing your brands or whatever for stupidity. Some of you are known for, for doing stupidity. I don't, I don't want to mention names. But I think you know yourselves and you are there celebrating, you know, because you're having money. You selfish fools. You can't think about your children. Seriously, think about those people who are dying and you are there celebrating, watching, busy watching your country drowning. So what sense is it making once you've invested your money into your mansions and so forth and so on, if your country is going to drown? It drowns along with everything that you've built, you fools. Wake up, open your eyes and see. Malanga and a man, so Where's your dignity, you guys? I'm so much disappointed. You should be ashamed of yourselves. You know, come up with a proper, you know, come up with, with an apology that makes sense so that people, they can understand what you're doing and try to explain. Because these are the people that are buying your music. These are the people that, you know, these are the people that uh, started growing your brand. And then you are there, you would rather watch them suffer. Are you going to buy them some food? Are you going to be able to put food on their plates while they are suffering your busy taking bribes? No wonder people are saying Zambians, we are hungry. It's not Zambia, but musicians especially, you are able to take bribes. You know, it's the same as, you know, you can be hired for anything. You can do anything for money, you know. And you should be really ashamed of yourselves and stop wearing all those fake jewelries. And, you know, stop lying to people that you're doing well. Because most of you, and it's true, you don't have money. But this is the money that you get, but you should be ashamed of yourselves because you should be the ones, the real heroes of the country, you know, to serve people, motivate people, inspire people, you know, through your music, through your voice, your talents, your gift that God has given you. But today, this is what you choose to do. Politics, politics, campaign, campaign. You should be ashamed of yourself. A true artist doesn't belong to politics, no campaign. No campaign songs. I'm so sorry to say this. And I hope you find peace in your hearts and try to make peace with the people, with your fans. Spread some love to everyone and keep Zambia safe and one love. Peace out.